Hi, it's T with T Quilts, and I'm here to do a collab with Arteza. Arteza is now selling heat transfer glitter vinyl. So that's really awesome. I thought it was great. I have tried Arteza's regular HTV vinyl, and I thought that I would give this a try. So come on back, and we'll get started. Before we get into this video, I do want you to know that I will have a discount code down below for you to receive a discount off this product, as well as any sales from this product, I will receive a small commission from Arteza. I am an affiliate with Arteza, but I do like a lot of their products. So, first thing I always like, Arteza has great packaging and it's no different than in this vinyl with the glitter. And then also on the back, it does have all of the colors listed. And I will show you the actual color sheets. And this package actually has 16 sheets in it. Their recommended heat press for HTV glitter vinyl from Orteza is 300 to 20 degrees Fahrenheit or 149 to 160 degrees Celsius. And you're to press for 15 to 20 seconds. So, it does have a clear carrier sheet on it, and I will start showing you on the front here, you can see the carrier sheet. That's why it's kind of glossy and mirror-like, but I received two pieces of the black vinyl, two pieces of the silver glitter vinyl, And just know that all of this vinyl is glitter. And then I have two pieces of the red. And I know you're going to get some glare off of the carrier sheet. Two pieces of the gold. Right here. So that makes up eight sheets right there. Two black, two silver, two red, and two gold. After that, we go to one sheet of each of the colors that they have. This one is called Vivid Green. This next one is Amethyst Purple. Very pretty color. Up next is Dreamy Blue. Next is Copper. Rose Gold. Berry Purple. A little bit darker than the Amethyst Purple. And then we have Hot Pink here. And the last one is Sky Blue. Next, I am going to pull up my Silhouette Cameo and I'm going to pull up a T-Quilts logo that I've already designed. That way we can see how the material cuts as well as how it All right, weaves. I am back and I am doing a two color design and this part that's on the screen is actually what's going to be printed on the Arteza vinyl and I have chose the Amethyst Purple and I note that their vinyl is 10 by 12 but your actual cut size is 12 by 9.75. So I have my Silhouette Cameo over here, right next to me, and I am just going to load my mat. I know you can't see it, but I just want you to be aware that I am cutting right next to my station over here. Okay, mat is loaded, so now I am just going to go down here and click the send button. And then it should ask me if I want my design mirrored, and I do want my design mirrored because with heat transfer vinyl, you print with the carrier sheet facing the mat. So we want to click send mirrored.
and it has finished cutting so I'm just going to remove this from the carrier sheet and I use uh, painters tape whenever my mats are not quite as sticky so that's why I have painters tape on here it has nothing to do with the vinyl and I am just going to peel this off so that's good I use the regular cut settings for my cameo 4 and it did not cut through to the carrier sheet so that's good and now I am going to set up a regular piece of Arteza vinyl so that I can print my second color I have this soft pink color here and I have white I think I'm gonna go ahead and try the soft pink so I'm now going to I'm going to put this on my mat. So I just sent from my computer to my Cameo to print this on HTV Smooth. And I will come back to you when that is finished. I'm back and I now have my second piece of Arteza. This is the regular heat transfer vinyl, the smooth HTV vinyl. And I just wanted to use the same product on this shirt completely from start to finish. So I'm just peeling it off the mat now. So this is our vinyl piece here. And I always put a weed box around the outside of my cut so that I can easily peel off the outside and not ruin what's left of my scrap piece. So I'll peel that first. Now that I have it weeded out, I want to just cut this out of my scrap piece so that I'm keeping as much scrap as possible. So I will keep this piece to use somewhere else and just peel off the edge that I don't want now that I've trimmed it from the main piece now when I put down my masking tape I have a little bit of that masking tape there you want to make sure if you use masking tape that you get it all off so that you can make sure all of your adhesive will stick this is my second piece of Arteza vinyl again this is heat transfer smooth so I am just going to peel this up So as I'm well. back and I am at my heat press and it is currently heating up. And it is now at 280 degrees. But what I want to do first is just heat press my shirt. I have it folded in half so that I can press in my center mark. currently at 292 and so I am just going to place my shirt on here where I've got the collar off of the platen and just smooth this out I use a ruler so that I can make sure that I have my design on here straight and I have also folded my design in half so that I can get a crease mark here. And oftentimes what I'll do is I'll just take a pair of scissors and I will just nip in the fold so I know where my center is. And use that to line up the top and bottom on the fold that I creased into my shirt. I also want to put this design about two and a half inches from the top. 
it's a little bit bigger than normal design so I'm going to make sure that like the top of my T is on that mark two and a half once I got that I can pull out 305 so I'm going to go ahead and just tap this down for a couple of seconds and raise it and so we need a little bit more time and then I'm going to raise this up let that cool off for just a second and with this vinyl you can peel off hot or warm so I just want to do my first press and I only again press this for a few seconds because I am doing a two color design And now I have my second piece. So I can put my tea quilts here in the middle. And I could also fold it in half as well. So I know where center is. And put that on the line. And again, we're only going to tap down for a few seconds. And then I'm going to peel this up. And the reason why I am doing that is because I don't want to get crease marks from this vinyl into my glitter vinyl. And then I need to peel off the extra piece that I put over that W from my patch and now I am going to go ahead and press this for about 10 to 15 seconds And now our shirt is all done so I just wanted to come back and show you the shirt design where it wasn't under the heat press platen but I really like it the glitter looks really good I have haven't washed it yet I tend to let my vinyl cure for about say two to three days is what I do I know they say 24 hours but I don't like to wash mine right away and then when I wash I do like to wash with the outside of my shirt on the inside and then I do not use dryer with HTV vinyl so if I have any information to add after I wash this I will put it in a comment and pin it in the bottom of this video so thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget that there is a link to get a discount on any Ortiz products. I will leave it down in the description box. And see you all in my next video.